Good evening, I'm Haley Wilkes. And I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks for being with us this evening. Our top story, a series of car burglaries at one Sarasota County dog park and some park goers concerned and warning others. ABC 7's Kate Flexter shows us what law enforcement says you can do to avoid becoming a victim of these crimes. A recent rash of break-ins here at the 17th Street Paw Park has some calling for stricter video surveillance and the sheriff's office warning park goers to be aware. I never in a million years thought of this as being unsafe. Not ever. Judith Justin describes the dog park as generally safe and comfortable. You know, you get to know people and you see the same people all the time, so you become very comfortable. That's why she was shocked on Thursday when she found her car window smashed and her purse that was hidden in the back seat stolen. It was one of two incidents like it at the park and one of several in the area. I lost everything. I lost my ID. I lost my Social Security card. I lost all of my credit cards. Lieutenant Dave Scott, who's in charge of crime prevention for the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office, says this type of crime is fairly common, particularly close to the interstate and in places where someone might be prone to leaving their valuables in their car. We have a lot of organized crime groups around the state that travel the state and they target these type of areas, parks and gyms. Deputies specifically patrol parks and parking lots, but Lieutenant Scott says the best thing to do is obvious, keeping valuables out of plain sight. If they see it, then they know they're going to get it. So if you can hide it, preferably in the secured trunk, if not, if you don't have a trunk, if you can cover it with uh, a blanket or a towel or a jacket, something like that. That's exactly what Justin suggests. You'll always be mindful of protecting yourself and your belongings, absolutely. And I will not be lackadaisical ever again. Right now, Justin and a few others are putting together a petition to call for stricter video surveillance here at the dog park. Reporting in Sarasota, Kate Flexter, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.